have been listening to R. Kelly's 13th studio album, Black Panties. And to tell you the truth, I was excited about this album because who doesn't love R. Kelly? I mean, he's the Pied Piper. You know, R. Kelly has been out for a very long time and he has that ability to kind of go away and be in the shadows and come back and have like a banger and really kind of revamp his whole career. But I don't think on this album that he did that. Um, he only had a couple hits that I liked. Um, most of the album was about, you know, sex and women and him with women. Um, and that's typical R. Kelly. If you listen to any of his old albums, that's what he sings about. But this was not as finessed, you know? If you look at some of the songs in this album, they're very like blatant, even the, the uh, titles of the songs. And there's no, nothing left to the imagination. So it was a disappointment for me. My biggest issue with this entire album was that there were no real love ballads on it. I mean, he bolts out some pretty, you know, passionate lyrics, but they're all about sex. And that kind of gets old. I mean, especially like I said, when it's not clever or, you know, just done in a way that I can sing without feeling raunchy. So that was my biggest complaint, R. Kelly, is that we need, you know, uh, I Believe I Can Fly or, you know, something off your TP3 album. Yeah, that was my favorite album. And I know that, you know, people change and they evolve, which I would like from R. Kelly. I would love to see him do something different. You know, he's done the, you know, the hardcore R&B uh, love songs and he's done the hip hop, you know, doing duos with um, rap artists. But I kind of feel like he's gone back to doing the same thing again. I would love to see him completely, you know, do something completely different. If you decide to check out this album, one song that I will recommend is My Story. Um, this song is like about, you know, his story of rags to riches and how he came from nothing and he is, you know, who he is today. Um, I really like this song and I would encourage you to listen to it. It wasn't as sexualized as the rest of the songs on the album were, so I kind of gravitated toward this song the most. Another song would be Cookie, which I don't know if it's on the radio now, but I know it's definitely, he has a video for it. And when I first heard the song, I was like, oh, this song is horrible. It's like, you know, he's singing about, you know, Cookie, check it out and you'll know what I'm talking about. And I didn't like it. And then I, I went on YouTube and I found the video and he is very persuasive when he is on camera, you know. Uh, so check out the video too and check out the song Cookie. The last song I would recommend is Tear It Up. I think you can tell what the song is about, um, but I like that song. Those are my top three songs. They weren't like, oh my gosh, you listen to these songs, but they're all right listen, so give them a listen. Um, my final verdict for this album would be download it, only because I am a true hardcore R. Kelly fan, and I love him from back in the day. He got me through most of my adolescence, um, you know, a few breakups. So I'm, I'm staying true to him, but I want to see him do better. So I would say download it, take a listen to it, and hit us up and tell us what you think. Thank you so much for joining us again on the Unnamed Music Show. Choose your music, people. Don't let your music choose you. Peace.